So this is our last day out of 21 days in Thailand. When you travel the world for a year, you see and experience so much. And we want to share our daily travels with you. Unfortunately, a hard drive failure means we have to tell the middle a little bit differently. So, welcome to Storytime with the Happy Hoppies in this edition of The Lost Episodes. And it is our last lost episode because we lost footage for 13 countries and finally, in the next video, we'll get back to our regular footage. But for now, we get to talk about our last day of exploring uh, Thailand and we were in Krabi Town. So after Lisa's foot got kind of healed up from the previous day of bathing and soaking in the hot water. From the she, sea urchin I stepped on. The next day we were finally, she was finally up to walking around exploring Krabi Town a little bit. See, I don't know if I was up to it necessarily, but it was our last day there, so we had to do it. I and talked her into it finally. It wasn't too long exploring, and my foot was feeling much better. She was probably, I don't remember for sure, but she's probably more so like, you can just go explore, I'll stay here. I'm like, no, you gotta come out, you gotta see it. I mean, come on. And so we went out, got to explore Krabby Town a little bit. beach, got to see some more boats there where you could actually hire a boat straight from there and go to Ao Nang Beach or Rayleigh Beach, wherever you want to go, or do other tours. We got to go down and see all these crab sculptures uh, and they had Happy New Year signs in 2018. It was really cool. There weren't many beaches though, they're right and crabby. Like the water actually was kind of icky, no sediment or something. Because of that, the, the hotels were a lot cheaper in crabby town, um, but you're also very, very far away from the beach, which is probably the reason you go to crabby. So if you stay in crabby, maybe just, you know, a night or two as you're kind of transitioning, but, um, if you want to get the beach experience, I would definitely recommend staying right on Ao Nang Beach and then taking um, daily like boat excursions to the other islands. And we found a cheap hotel um, down there as well. So our hotel was actually right on a little square, and in that square were a bunch of vendors that were set up under all these like tarps and tents. And you could go in there throughout the day and then evening time and pick out like different kinds of foods and try different things. I think I went through actually the day before and kind of found a couple things that were cool. I think I took a couple snacks back to Lisa. While I was soaking my feet. <laughs> and then the next day I took her through, we went through and picked out some different items for lunch or dinner, whatever it was. It was so nice, like just all the different street vendors there in Thailand, like, oh my goodness, such amazing food and such a good cost. Like, I don't know how they get it at that price because at the grocery stores it was a lot more expensive. Yeah, I actually remember, I think we had a couple meals there, like one meal of a lot of different things that we were sampling and then oh, yeah. another meal where we actually went somewhere and, and paid down. for a meal and sat down. And it was awesome. And like the service for all these booths, like the vendors were amazing. They're so great. Oh yeah, they had like, um, the one we sat down, they had like several different like buckets of like soup that you could get. And so I think we got like red Thai curry or um, some other kind of soup. It was ah, so good. It was really good stuff. So, yep, that was fun. And then we actually switched hotels to a different one that night. So the first night we were in one hotel, second night we switched to another one. It was like 10 bucks more. But the reason we switched to the other hotel is because they had a shuttle service. You did have to pay extra for it, but it was through the hotel, so you like, you know, knew you were gonna have a driver, and our flight was gonna leave like super early the next morning. So we wanted to make, yeah. make sure that we'd have somebody that was gonna pick us up and get us to the airport on time for our flight. 
And then it was so sad to leave Thailand because we really just started to love it. Um, I mean, the people there are incredible. And at that point, like, that was the longest. I think that's actually still is the longest we spent in one country. No, take it back. We spent longer in Indonesia. As you say. But um, in Thailand, we spent 21 days. And it's a much smaller country. And in Indonesia, even though we spent longer, we went to three different islands. So... I went to three different cities, same thing I guess. So join us in the next video as we take off to Malaysia and we're back to our regular footage! Woo! I'm so excited! <laughs> See you then! Previous video, <laughs> link above. I think, it, I think the link's gonna be over there. Here? I don't know, one of those. Somewhere. Looking at watching, I think I'm right. I'll go ahead and say it one more time. Okay. Yeah, really? It's not working. Yeah, I yeah, thought sorry. you were going to tie us into the live footage. I just thought uh, you were going to say it. And with that, we'll pick up with live footage.